You sense a blur of movement to your side. Before you can react, there's a blade under your chin and a slim, pale hand upon your weapon. A voice whispers in your ear with a breathy purr. A guest. How brazen of you to enter without knocking. The press of the blade encourages you further into the room, then retreats. You turn to face a woman in black ring robes. She's pale and vividly beautiful, wearing a smile that's somewhere between impish and cruel. Perhaps I'll give you a chance to explain yourself. She lowers her weapon and gives you a curious look. Not because of your response, though. She's noticed something. You're no ordinary traveler, are you? You positively reek of source. Are you the one responsible for this mayhem surrounding us? And whoever turned this stretch of cow country into a death-filled valley is likely to be powerful enough to help you. Is that what you thought? You look like someone who wouldn't turn down a good thing when it comes to them. How about a little deal? You help us, and I'll show you how to make true use of Source. She gestures to where a young magister is propped up on a cot in the corner. He's ashen and dazed. His shoulder bound in layers of crimson-soaked wound dressings. This is Mahali. We absconded together. I from the Black Ring and he from the Magisters. We fell for each other while I was his prisoner. Love will set you free. Mahali put himself at great risk to free me from Magister captivity. We made it clear, but he picked up quite a nasty wound. We found refuge in this charming hamlet. But then, well, I'm sure you saw for yourself. The landscape tore itself open, void woken appeared, and a shroud of decay fell over us. It's preventing Mahali's wounds from healing. So, now we must escape this place. Or else remove the decaying shroud so Mahali can heal. Help us, and I'll help you. Driftwood has far too many magisters for my liking. I fell for one of them, not all of them. Besides, I asked for help, not directions. That's my price, if you want to see what I have to offer. Thank you. Please, clear the way so that we can head south in the direction of the coast. The north is too dangerous. It crawls with Voidwoken. Once you've helped Mahali and I pass freely, once we're truly clear, I'll give you what you want. Her eyes speak volumes. All that you want. Wise, perhaps. Its effects seem to be stronger to the north. I'd start looking there. Well, have you found the cause of this aura? This shroud? Please, don't exert yourself too hard. It's not as if one of us is gravely wounded or anything. Leave me be. I don't have... Oh. Energy for conversation. The Magister winces in pain as he turns away from you. A small pool of blood has formed beneath him. I said, leave me be. I need to rest. Well, have you found the cause of this aura? This shroud? Good. Now listen closely. Clear anything that will impede Mahali. Flames. Those accursed fumes. Anything. Come back here when there's a safe route. And we will follow you. You promised much, sorcerer. But can you deliver on any of it? 
You're trying my patience, sorcerer. Come back to me when you have something to show for yourself. I said, leave me be. I need to rest. You promised much, sorcerer. But can you deliver on any of it? Well then, let's make haste. Leave Mahali on. I will follow. Don't let anything happen to him, dear. Or I will hold you accountable. This is no place to stop for a chat. Let's keep moving. I hope you know what you're doing. It's an ambush. Of course it is.
I'll yield and not.
We'd never have made it without you. She slinks forward until her face is mere inches from your own. I owe you a debt. But I already know what you desire. And I intend to pay in full. Right now. Tell me. Do you know exactly what I am? Excellent eye, my dear. You are correct. I am indeed a succubus. Love is my power. It enthralls those who lie with me and feeds me yet more power. My source abilities are linked to this aspect of me, and it is through this aspect that I must reward you. You realize that her hand is caressing your arm. She gazes at you intently, untroubled by the feel of your undead physique. Her eyes are oceans of violet. You could get lost in them. You have my word, though. I will not use my powers to make you my thrall. Just as I hope you won't use what I show you to become some sort of tyrant. Mahali understands who I am. That's why we're meant to be together. Power is a pleasure unto itself, my dear. 
Believe me, I know. Let's see if we can put some life into you. She kisses you. She is on. Suddenly she's all blinding light and come hither heat. You enter her heat, thrust upon thrust, until she scalds, and with a scream, her nails digging for blood, all becomes an echo of the primal soul, a burst of overwhelming white. Slowly the heat abates as she releases you with a kiss. Your vision swims back into view, Almira observing you with a knowing smile. A lesson worth learning, was it not? Once you've caught your breath, I actually have another little request for you. You have helped me to escape immediate danger, but I remain a fugitive from my old life and... the promises I made to it. The Black Ring swear allegiance to a powerful being, the God King. This is not a mere oath of duty, this is the Covenant. And those who accept it are bound to the God King. They are sworn. I am sworn. You have to understand, Lucian's death fog broke us. We were left defeated, leaderless. And then the God King started to speak to us. He offered victory, immortality. Anything we desired in exchange for loyalty, how could we refuse? Once you are sworn, there is no escape. Your life is the God King's. Fail or betray him, and you are doomed. Unless you find a way to break the Covenant. That is where you come in, my dear. I discovered the existence of ancient implements called Sworn Breakers. They are rumored to be able to break any magical pact, including the Covenant. And while enslaved by the Magisters, I noticed a tablet in their excavation site in the Black Pits. It bore markings that looked very similar to how these Sworn Breakers were described to me. She smiles, fixing those violet eyes upon you once again. Will you retrieve it for me? It is a promise that you cannot break. Unless you want to end up broken yourself. Those who are sworn to it are bound to the God King, come victory or defeat. If you try to break the Covenant unprepared, then you are sealing your own fate. He is a god for the godless. A beacon for those who have no place in this world. He seeks to cast down the world of the Seven and build a new world with the Sworn at his side. The Black Ring flocked to him after Lucian unleashed his death fog. The undead stand by him because he offers them a return to life. I don't know why the Void Woken flock to him. But I want to be with Mahali. That is why the God King and I must part ways. That is why I need a Sworn Breaker. Who needs thralls when I have selfless acquaintances such as yourself? By the by, a black little birdie told me you've a ship along the shore. That is where we'll go. Enjoy a bit of sun while we wait. Incredible! I've never felt such power! You feel newfound powers of the source course wildly through your body. Deep inside your soul, your god calls for you. It would be wise to meet with your god again by performing the Meister's ritual, here or in Siva's vault. We remain vulnerable while at anchor. Better to make for the open ocean at first convenience, don't you think? Have you made any progress with my request, dear? Have you found that tablet? Well, please, carry on. I'm relying on you, my dear. We remain vulnerable while at anchor. Better to make for the open ocean at first convenience, don't you think? Have you made any progress with my request, dear? Have you found that tablet? Excellent! Why, I knew I could rely on you. That is all for now, darling. My thanks. Here. A little token for all your efforts so far. Now, oh, I'd better study this tablet for a while. I'm sure it could teach even me a thing or two. Be on your way now, my dear. 
Perhaps we'll have matters to discuss again later. No one ever regretted having... Tread carefully, my dear. Those are black ring banners that I spy on the shore. I studied the tablet that you so generously provided. It showed me everything I need to know about creating a functional Swornbreaker. Once I have that, I'll be free of the Covenant. And free to spend the rest of my days with Mahali. See those structures further inland? Remarkably like those from the Caverns of the Black Pits, aren't they? Should you discover the parts needed for a Swornbreaker, please bring them to me. I'll make it worth your while. Also, you will likely encounter sworn followers of the God King on that island, I suspect. I would avoid combat if possible. Death can be less than final for them, if the God King wills it. Almira doesn't respond right away. Instead, she turns and gazes intently at the island. After a long moment, she finally speaks. I sense a familiar presence. The Sallow Man. Yes. He's there somewhere. Likely commanding Black Ring forces. You should seek him out. He's a foul creature, but not opposed to cutting a deal. Beware his underlings, though. If they challenge your presence, pose as a thrall of mine and you should gain safe passage. My name should still command respect among them. Something on your mind, darling? You want to craft a sworn breaker? I hope you haven't fallen in with the wrong crowd, my dear. Here, take the tablet. Just remember that I covet the sworn breaker as well. I trust you wouldn't deny a girl her deepest desire, would you? Something on your mind, darling? Darling. Why, I can't remember the last time someone showed me such kindness. Maybe even never. When it matters most, I will stand alongside you. I promise. After all, I am soon to be a free woman. I can choose to follow whomever I wish now. I thought you'd forgotten about me, darling. How goes your little endeavor? Almira gives you a devilish grin and traces her finger along your forearm. I had a feeling you'd be one to watch, my dear. I'm glad to hear my faith wasn't misplaced. You're lucky that I enjoy a bumpy ride, my dear. Our arrival here was vigorous, even for my tastes. I'm still eternally grateful for all you've done for me, of course. In fact, here, take this. I suspect you'll find use for it soon enough. This place? No. Arx is clogged with divine order lackeys, from what I understand. It's not the sort of town where a girl like me could let her hair down, unfortunately. Oh, hush now. I gave you my word, didn't I? You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. I've always preferred to be the one reaping the attention, but you've turned the tables. I suppose it's only right, seeing as how a new divinity may stand before me. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. A world full of sorcerers. That's quite a thing. But don't worry, darling. You're still special to me. Reform my ways? <laughs> How adorable. No, I'm afraid I cannot escape who I am and what I've done. 
Her eyes flick down to your mouth. She smiles coyly, then slinks forward to kiss you. Her mouth meets yours and devours you with predatory abandon. Somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you think you hear her voice sigh, mine. But then the kiss ends. Something to remember me by, darling. Hmm. Who knows? A nice cottage someplace quiet for Mahali and I. A roaring fire and a feather bed. Maybe. Maybe. But a girl needs some fun, doesn't she? I hope you won't be a stranger, my dear. I do like to keep in touch with old friends. <laughs>